What's up guys? This is a quick video to give you an idea of what you can expect from this channel. You'll see a little bit of the work I've done in the past and you'll also get an idea of what to expect in the future. Thanks for watching. This is it. <clears throat> Leaving the nine to five world right now. I'm leaving because I became a photographer so I could work for myself. At some point, I gave up and just wanted to work for someone else and have and work for a team. I thought it'd be fun, but. Uh, they had fences up with bob wire around it. I didn't know if that was like to keep me in or to get keep others out. Nah, it's really out to keep others out in um, it's in a pretty bad neighborhood in Baton Rouge. Fairly bad. There was a shooting right outside the door while I was there um, like a few weeks ago. But that's not why I'm leaving. Don't get me wrong, there's uh, it's good things about jobs like that, it's something to depend on, and it's something uh, that, you know, when you're off, you're off, you can party and relax, but I'm just not that kind of person. I don't, I'm not looking to uh, party. I'm looking for more time to create projects that I want to work on, like this. taking a leap into the freelance world. You know, for a long time, I have been really confused. I was really happy and I thought I was gonna be happy at this job that I just finished, which was doing photography. And my goals have been to be a photographer and be able to train jujitsu. Since I was young, I had always been into art. Uh, I'd always seen light. I remember being obsessed with looking at light, the way light hit things. I was a sketch artist and a painter later on. Uh, it wasn't until I was about 20 that I found photography. I was also really into sports, physical activities, uh, competition. Uh, later in high school, I, I Play football, but I also won like all the art awards, which uh, so I was kind of I felt like I was always in between two worlds. Like none of my art friends wanted to hang out with my the jock friends, um, and even later in life, uh, in my 30s, um, I was in New York and I had been pursuing this photography career, and I felt like training jujitsu was getting in the way. So I even I took two years off.
But in that two years, I was reading a lot about Miyamoto Musashi. Miyamoto Musashi has a famous quote that says, every warrior should have a peaceful art as well as a killing art. This is the twofold way. And it really hit me that all this time, I had, I had been living that way. I had been living the, the twofold way. I became quite obsessed with uh, Miyamoto Musashi and I was reading all the stories a, a ton. I was training at this gym, Master Skaya, in New York. And I got to be good friends with uh, Alex Eklund. Multiple days in a row, I'd be sitting on the, on the uh, mats and I was uh, telling the story of uh, Miyamoto Musashi's duels and how he used strategy and all the different little details that are super interesting, which we'll get into one day. Um, and he just looked at me and he goes, you're the white Musashi. And ever since then, you know, that was my name there. They, nobody knew me as Eric LaCour. They knew me as the white Musashi. You know, the white Musashi is a concept. It's the idea of living that twofold way. So my main goal with this channel is to study different people. We're going to study the, we're going to use the camera to study jujitsu and photography in different ways. We're also going to be seeking out these people, people that are already living the twofold way. Miyamoto Musashi was actually a painter and a sculptor. At one point in the novel, he actually carved a sculpture for days in exchange for a, a sword from a swordsmith. Later on, before his most prestigious duel with Kojiro, people were scourging around looking for him and wondering if he was going to actually show up. And they found him in his room, painting. Miyamoto Musashi's way was of the pen and the sword. Mine, the gi and the camera. Hopefully I can inspire you to find your own twofold way. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that stuff. And not to mention, follow me on Instagram at the White Musashi. Thanks for watching, guys.